My name is Charlotte, and I work in the Historic Clothing Department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society in Connecticut. We are currently photographing the collection for our database. This pink striped dress is from around the 1890s and was worn by a woman named Dorothy Pardy Clark and was donated by her daughter in 1970. The Clarks resided in New York City and spent their summers at their second home on Apple Hill in nearby North Wilton, and the museum also holds Dorothy's wedding dress from 1907 that was worn first in 1878 by her mother, Catherine Schubert, on her wedding day to Frank Pardy. The interior label reads Holston, New York, which is not to be confused with the famous 1970s designer Roy Halston Froick, born several decades after this dress was created. I did some research on the label but couldn't find much, so it's assumed that Mrs. Clark's dress was made by a dressmaker in New York at the turn of the century. Unlike the rigid bustled dresses from previous decades, this dress features a puffed bodice that droops in the front and a cone-shaped skirt that falls directly from the waist and hips, and the bodice has these long, narrow sleeves that end in a short ruffle, and the interior is lined with a sunset-colored taffeta, which you can see here. The waist also has this beautiful black velvet pointed feature, which acts as kind of like a belt. And here is the interior label with the designer. The final photos go on our website, database, and newsletter. And I also think this dress reminds me of an impressionist painting. So I included an image of a dress from the time period that's similar, as well as a couple of paintings that remind me of the dress. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.